Hi, this is Chuck from AngryKoalaGear.com, and I'm here with Matt Moak at the LA Convention Center for the first annual Kamikaze Expo. I just want to thank you. He's the co-founder of the, the founder of the Zombie Research Society, and I just want to thank you for this interview opportunity. Yeah, it's great. Glad to be here. It's having a ton of fun. What do you think of the Kamikaze Expo so far? I mean, I think it's been amazing. It's it's way more crowded than I thought it was going to be. Way, it's really busy. Everybody's really friendly. I mean, it's been a great atmosphere. Uh, I'm a huge fan of zombie movies, comics from The Walking Dead, Dawn of the Dead. Right. Um, what are some of your favorite movies? Yeah, I mean, I think that I probably got to say Night of the Living Dead from 1968. I mean, it was the original, and it's so important, you know, to all the other movies that came after that. I like a lot of the new stuff, too, that's coming out. Um, but if I had to pick one, I would probably pick that. And so why the Zombie Research Society? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, for me personally, I've always been obsessed with zombies. So, uh, and and I, I came to it from zombie movies. And But I kind of felt like I was never as scared watching any zombie movie as I thought I would be in a real zombie outbreak. So it all started from that. I was kind of like, okay, well, if zombies actually were to show up, what would they look like and what would they smell like and how would they hunt me and you know, how would their brain work and so um, that's kind of how it started just like talking to real experts in all different fields about you know what this potential threat could actually be like and speaking of hunting what is in your zombie survival kit right I well a lot of it's pretty standard I think like uh, you know because real zombie survival isn't like a video game so it's not you know it's not oh I'm just gonna get a shotgun and blow a bunch of zombie heads off it really is um, worrying about food, water, and shelter, and, and you know the basics of survival. But probably the one thing that I have in my kit that maybe most people don't have is a, is a, I actually have a stun gun, a couple of them, that are it's sort of a non-lethal way to deal with human threats, because I feel like the human threat is going to be just as big a threat in a zombie outbreak as, as zombies. Um, what would be your favorite way to kill a zombie then? <laughs> probably, I mean, you know, my favorite way to have a zombie get killed is by someone else, I would think, because I don't really want to get involved, to tell you the truth. But um, if I had to pick a certain way, it would, it would have to be something from very far away. I mean, you don't want to get close to a zombie at all, right? So if I had some ability to, you know, an extremely long-range weapon, that would be fantastic, you know? And uh, I talked to you a little bit yesterday. You said you're going to be on AMC's Talking Dead tonight. Can't wait. I love the show. Uh, you already know what you're going to be talking about yeah we you know I mean fortunately for me I, I already got to watch the episode so they, they let us watch it early and then we talk about you know I mean it's all live but we kind of you know go over oh, this is maybe what we'll focus on you know in different points in the episode so I mean all I could say is I thought the episode was fantastic so I'm just like I'm really excited about it okay well I just want to thank Matt Moak for uh, giving this this interview opportunity and here at the Kamikaze Expo and look forward to seeing you tonight on the Talking Dead. Right on. Thanks a lot.